But let's start with the main event of the day, and that is the Bengals and the Chiefs. And it's a funny game because I think a lot of the narrative coming out of this is that the Bengals kind of have the Chiefs number recently, right? But when I watch that game, it's so funny that even though the end result is different, I just feel so much better about where the Bengals are right now, especially on offense. That's my biggest takeaway from this game is that this version of the Bengals now with Jamar back, with Burrow playing like this, and with the line playing the way that they're playing, I just feel so much more confident about where this team is. So even though they beat the Chiefs again, and that's going to be the conversation around it, this one just felt a little bit different to me in terms of where the Bengals ceiling is. And I know that's crazy because they went to the Super Bowl last year. I know, I know, but it's just so much more sustainable. And this yeah. is what I, I we try to emphasize a lot. This is so much more sustainable. The opening drive, I tweeted it out. It just felt that way. Burrow hits a check down on third down. They run the ball four times out of the shotgun, including a designed Burrow run for the touchdown, Like, which is also yeah. another thing. They're running him way more than they did last year. I think it's like they, they've already – uh, they ran them 11 times on design runs this year. They ran them 10 times all last year, something of that sort. Oh, I'm sorry, 21 times this year, 11 all of last year, it, which is ridiculous. The change of their whole dynamic of what their offense is. Even without designed runs, his legs were a huge factor in this game. Huge. Scrambles, extending plays, getting yep. up and out. I mean, that's just been a big part he's, of that sustainability and them kind of finding more chunks on offense. He's, he's had eight rushes this year of 10 or more yards. He had one all of last year. Like he is, I know. And it's, everything's more in control, like him in the pocket. Like, like again, on that opening drive, he's just on, he's finding the check down. He's hitting a dig over the middle. He's hitting Tyler Boyd over the middle. He's progressing to Hayden Hurst. Like they ran, uh, I think it was like a first and 10 outside T Higgins, outside Jamar chase routes. If that was last year, Burrow would be throwing a back shoulder throw on it, but instead the Chiefs are playing so over the top of it. He just progresses calmly and hits Hurst on like a little like in. It's a slot route, but they run an out route, so uh, inside out route. <laughs> they run on it, but it gets Hurst on it, and then it's just again the design runs that where he scores, and then their run game is so good. This offense has just really, really been fun, and it's you know what's really fun about it is we talk about the tendency breakers that Zach Taylor is showing. Zach Taylor, Zach Taylor is showing. Sorry, uh, like he does a play action shot play under center, like on the second yeah. drive, which second boy is beautiful. Under, yeah, second and three under center, you're going like, oh, run! Like this is this is the Bengals' run time, and they're showing, going play action out of it. But it's so funny when it comes into you know nut crunching time. They still have these guys named Jamar Chase and T Higgins, and they have a guy named Joe Burrow that knows how to get it to them. Uh, and they just can run these plays and win one on ones and clutch moments. And that's what makes this offense so, so scary. It was a great performance all around. But the th- thing is, I still think the Chiefs' offense was fantastic, but the Bengals should be credited for how well they played on both sides of the ball, which is what matters. What do you think about that decision to kick the 55 yard field goal instead of trying hate to go it. for it there? I hate it. 55 yarder. So they, if you miss it, the ball's at the 45. Like, so if you don't get it, you know, I don't think that field position matters as much. You know, that's that 35, 45 is like, you're giving the ball either way. Um, or what should I say? Uh, 38 and, and, and 45. So that's what I, I just didn't really like that. You got Mahomes. I know he was gimped up, but take a timeout. I know you want to stop the clock. So you get onto that, but I, I think you go for it. You have the best player in the world at quarterback and he's reading the game really well. And you've adjusted really well to what they're doing. I say, push it. Buck, Buckner has been off this whole year. He's been banged up and he's like at 70 something percent on 50 plus yard or so. Didn't really like it too much. I thought I, I missed, I, I totally misjudged your tweet or like misread it. I thought you liked the fact that they kicked the field goal. So I, I was like trying it. to be nice. Okay. I also hated was not it. a fan of the decision. Well, I hated it. I hated it. No, no, no. I, I thought okay. that was blatant. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I hated it. I'm so I'm sorry. I totally misread that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I think, think a few we... people, people were like, Hey, Nate, they had Patrick Mahomes. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you mean the MVP of the year so far? <laughs> yeah, yes. exactly. I, I think in that moment with Patrick Mahomes, you, you let him go to work yeah. there. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to reply to that later. Be like, <laughs> just to clarify for some people. <laughs> the the Kelsey fumble is a great you know thing to bring up. Obviously, yeah. I think they're up 24-17 when that happens, right? What yeah. was the score at, at that point? I believe it was. Their, still 20. Yeah. 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 And then because that's when the. I know sir. Uh, came down my notes are a disaster. <laughs> It's just me. I got three. I'm color coded. So it's 24 to 20. That was after the McPherson field goal to, to make it 24 to 20. So at that yeah. point, the Chiefs are winning the game with 14 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and Kelsey fumbles at midfield. So 
bounces at the ball. You know, right. I mean, I the Bengals deserve all the credit in the world. My takeaway is that I still feel very good about the Chiefs and where they're at offensively. I just feel even better about the Bengals. And that, that's saying something because after last week and after the way that they played over the last few weeks, I think that our enthusiasm about them has been pretty clear. But this is one of those games where you watch the way that they're playing and think there's no reason they can't challenge anybody in the AFC playing like this. And that's pretty exciting because, it, again, I feel better about them now than I did last year when they went to the Super Bowl. They're a better team on December 5th today yep. or this season yep. than they were on December 5th last year. And I don't think Absolutely. it's particularly close. Absolutely.